what's up you guys here let's do this we're gonna bring you guys through here okay now we got you I was able to bring you guys to my bench while keeping you on the charger. Okay. What's up, Barb? <laughs> Megan. What's up? Oh, man. <laughs> I'm so sore. Um. Constance, what's up? I got my sourdough to rise. Oh my. So what did you do different? We got to figure this out. What did you do different? She's been making her starter for a few weeks now. And it could, it could add a lot of stress to your life, you guys. When you can't get that rise. And she got a rise. Okay. Let's do this. We got to stretch, you guys. Yeah, what did you do to make it rise? I'm sure a lot of people would love to hear your tip. I put it in a bowl of warm water and then put it in the microwave overnight. What temperature do you guys keep your house at? I'm wondering what temperature you leave your house at. Hey guys, we got to stretch our full body today. Full body. We are doing full body workout with some dumbbells. But we got to stretch. Okay, that is like the same we keep our house at. We keep ours at like 70 all the time. What's up, Sarah? That is not too cold. 69 and 70. 71, 72. Ours, ours, we, we keep ours at like, like right now it's probably 70, 71, but at night it's 69. We have like the same exact temperatures as you do, Megan. Hey guys, we got to stretch. I don't think that would be too cold, but once you get it rising, it doesn't stop. So you're good. Right under it. Oh, somebody said put it on your fridge. Somebody said put it on your fridge. I don't know how that's warmer than anywhere else. That's another thing. Oh, no, but you got it to rise, so good good for you. I would just make a loaf. If I were you, I would go into, I have a video, like my first loaf or whatever, my easy go-to loaf. That's how I make mine. I would just make one. If I were you, I wouldn't even waste another day. I would make a loaf of bread. After like a month, it's like you kind of want to try try your bread. So I would just do it. Your starter went bad, Sarah. How is your guys' starters going bad? What did it do? Um, this is strength with cardio. This is like a full body. This is cardio. I really am a firm believer in getting in. Like, I don't, you, you'll notice. I don't do a lot of just strength, strength. I do a lot of strength with cardio. Um, so yeah, this is kind of both this you'll notice. So what makes it strength is when we're doing progressive overload, we're lifting the weights. So depending on what weights you choose, that's going to depend on how much strength you are building. It's going to be different than me, different than the next person. The cardio is going to come in from like the timing of the workout we're doing. It's called metabolic conditioning. We're working hard for 40 seconds. We're resting for 20 seconds. It's a Metcon metabolic conditioning. Um, so a strength, when people think strength, they think, okay, let me just go in and just do heavy lifting. And they don't really put cardio with it. They're not breathing hard. They're just, and I know, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. 
you've got to have some sort of intensity to some of your workouts. You can't have every, if every workout is comfortable, you're doing something wrong. So just look at it like that. Don't overthink it. Olivia, don't overthink it. I'm not sure if you're new to the group or um, to this. Don't overthink it. What's up, Michael? I remember talking to you when we were in Montana on our live, of course. I've seen you comment on a bunch of my stuff. Uh, okay. You were on here when there was a bunch of our 12-year-old friends, 13-year-old friends. What's up? Oh, my gosh. We have so many of you guys joining today. Jenny's. Okay. We're stretching. We're stretching our full body. Yeah, I think I think I – yeah, it's easy to overthink. Um, I was just telling you, just get movement in. People always want to do the quickest thing to reach their goals. They're like, okay, what workouts can I do to reach my goals the quickest? Add strength training to your program. You got to have some strength in here. That's what, that's, what's going to, if you're just always doing steady state cardio, steady state cardio is like going for a walk, going for a jog. You're not having any intent, intense intervals in there. It's just steady state, like, like setting your treadmill and just doing one steady state cardio. That's not going to be the ideal program for, for optimal fat loss. Yeah. You're going to lose fat, but could you lose fat quicker? Yep. Can you tone up quicker? Yep. Add in strength training. Oh, the pizza bread recipe is probably one of our favorite. Um, I think we even liked it better than the cinnamon bread. It's so good. You have to make the pizza seasoning, like that pizza seasoning you guys saw me first make. Um, so fun fact, I worked, a, I worked at a pizza shop in high school. That's what I did for like two years, worked at a pizza shop. I loved making pizzas, loved it. Um, but I grew up in my family, they own like catering companies. That's where my cooking background comes from is just catering. Like on weekends, we would sit there and snap like peas, snap beans, snap. Everything was homemade and everything was, it was, it was like a hundred pounds. I'm not even kidding. My stepmom would get like a hundred pounds of green peas, green beans. And we, we would be snapping them for like a wedding. She was catering and we would help her cook, help her prep, help her do all of that. Um, but pizza is something we made a lot, pizza breads, pizza, all of that. So I was so excited to do a pizza sourdough. I was so excited to do a pizza sourdough. It, it's amazing. Tasha, what's up? Yeah, Katie. So I'm excited to see how yours goes. That one's, it's kind of easy. That recipe's easy. You just use cheese sticks. Cheese sticks when you're baking or cooking always are going to work better. They don't melt out. Whereas like if I would use shredded cheddar, it would have melted. It would have melted out of my loaf. Flowers for weddings. And I used to really, oh my gosh, that's funny, Megan. Um, that's too funny. Yeah, we did our family. It was all cooking. It's still cooking. My aunt Barb that I, I went to her house the other day for the solstice eclipse or what a solar eclipse. Um, she still does catering all the time. She got a call for like a wedding. She's catering in December. Like they still do all of this catering stuff. Uh. I'm more of a salty girl and most recipes are sweet. I'll have a loaf in about 14 days or less. You would do the macros the same as you would anything else. You would actually do the macros just like you would um, a recipe builder. It's funny that you just asked. Somebody asked that in my question box. And that's what I was. I was just typing that up for them. How is my husband doing today, Tara? He's doing good, Michael. He's doing good. He is uh, upstairs. He's actually on bread duty right now. He's watching my loaf. <laughs> I have a few things in the oven. He's on bread duty. I said, please. So I'm like testing a couple recipes. And the other day we tested them and the baking time was way different than what I was thinking. So I got to get it. I got to figure this one out before I share it. Um, I cannot get the perfect like timing down of it yet. But... I'm going to get it down, I promise. But it was amazing. So I have two of them going right now. But So he's watching that. Oh, we're stretching, you guys. We're going to do full body with dumbbells today. 
full body with dumbbells. Get your arms behind you. Back here. Stretch. Pull, stretch. We did heavy squats on Tuesday. Man, that was off. That was rough. Tuesdays was rough. Gosh, that was rough. Yeah, if you were on Tuesday's workout with us, that was a good example of what strength looks like with cardio added. It's a very good example of what strength looks like with cardio on Tuesdays. Oh, I liked Tuesdays too. Ah, okay. Let's pick this up. Let's put some of this away real quick. Okay, so for today's workout, you guys, we are doing an EMOM. Um, it's going to be a 12-minute EMOM. 12-minute EMOM, which means it's only three rounds of four movements. You are going to notice, you're going to notice, these are going to are going to be compound movements. There's going to be two movements and one. We're going to be working multiple muscle groups. So a lot of exercises, it's like we do a bicep curl. It's working our biceps. Um, you're going to notice that we're putting things in with it. So today it's going to be kind of a fast paced one, but here's the kicker. If you guys can't keep up, if you guys can't keep up with the compound exercises that I have programmed, pick one out of the two and do that one, do that one. So I'll go over them right now with you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, give me your questions. But if you guys cannot do these together and you're not coordinated enough, I'm going to break it down for you. So you guys can keep up, I promise. But it's going to be an EMOM, which is every minute on the minute. We're going to do 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest for 12 minutes. So let's work really hard for that 40 seconds. Earn that rest, 20 second rest. Um, but we're going to start with lunge and a curl. So we're going to do both of those at the same time. Then we're going to go into the plank. We're going to go into the plank. Then we're going to go into the squat, L raise. I'll show you guys these as well. And then back into the plank. So we're going to do lots of core. You're going to see a lot of core in here. And indirectly, these are working our core too. So we have a lot of core in this workout. But we're also going to be working legs and arms, legs and arms. So it's a full body. It's going to be good. Depending on the weight you guys choose for your workout will depend on how much strength is involved for you. So that's where the strength comes in. So the first movement it's going to be the lunge and the curl. So lunge, curl. Don't overthink it. I know we got a lot of overthinkers in here. So lunge and curl. I'm going to grab my 12s. So when I go it down for my lunge, I think you guys are at a weird angle. Let me pull you guys back up. Okay. Sorry. That's easier. Oh, yeah. We are looking forward to it. Okay, lunge curl. So, lunge curl. We're going to do, so I have my dumbbells in my hands just to my sides. We're going to lunge. Remember, a lunge looks like this. It does, you're not walking a line. You're not straight walking a line. It's not a lunge. You're stepping out. You're, you're not stepping way out, but you're stepping kind of to the side. You're going to bend your knee, tap, curl, back down, up, and then lunge, curl back up. Notice my elbows are staying tight to my sides, even for this. Um, so curls are done. Usually we're standing up. We have soft knees and we do bicep curls like this. We are going to be doing the lunge today with it. So lunge, set, curl back up. That's what that first movement is. If you cannot do both, just do one. If you don't have weights, do just the lunge. If you have dumbbells and you want to do the curls, do the curls. But I want you guys to do both if you can. So the first movement is going to be that lunge curl. We're going to go into that plank. The plank It's going to be on our forearms. It's going to be done on our forearms. What's up, April? So our forearms, body's nice and tight. Everything's tight. Quads are tight. Glutes are tight. Core is tight. Shoulders are tight. Everything's tight. Notice I'm not sagging down here. I'm not up here. 
and like a board, nice and tight. Okay, that's called a plank. <coughs> so just work on staying tight, everything's tight. It's gonna get hard, I promise, especially with doing them the second and the fourth movement. The second or the third movement is gonna be the squat L raises. So these, you're gonna want a lighter weight for than probably what you do curls for. But what we're gonna do, so you want your feet in that squat position. You're, they're outside like our shoulders. And a squat is like this. So squats, we sit back, that's a squat. Adding the L raise to it is gonna, we're doing it at the same time. So we're gonna come down, up. So your arms go up while your butt goes down. It's kind of weird. I know it's kind of weird because I see myself in the mirror thing right here. Um, but you're working simultaneously together. So at the bottom, check yourself. Are you in an L raise and a squat? Good. Come up. So remember, if you can't do both, you guys can just do squats. Nice proper form. We can just do those L raises. And then we're going to go back into the plank. It's going to be kind of hard today. It's 12 minutes because we are doubling down on some movements and we're going to be working pretty hard. So, so let's do this and it's going to, let's do it. Okay, let's do it, you guys. We're going to set up, I use an app called Wad Timer. It's called Smart Wad or Wad Timer. So it's only 12 minutes, you guys. I want you guys to work really hard. I want you, I want you guys to work pretty hard. For this work. Um, Twenty. Okay, set up. Any questions? Any questions about this workout today? Any questions whatsoever? If not, we're gonna get started. We're gonna get started. Okay, we're starting in 10 seconds. Seven, six, five. Let's go. Go, go you guys. Lunch girl. Good job. Ten seconds. Oh, this is going to get spicy. Rest. Rest. Plank. We're going to do the plank. Plank. Everything's tight, you guys. Remember, pretend like your kid is about to come sit on you. Or someone's about to like, just keep, keep your body braced like that. Um, like you're about to get punched in the stomach or sat on. It helps. Round two. Go. And breathe. Big deep breaths. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Rest. Rest. Woo! Squat L raises. Ready? Squat L raises. 
If you guys hear like little meow, meow, that's the little kittens. That's the kittens. I heard them when I was laying down there. Okay. Go. My quads hurt so bad. Woo. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Rest. Wow. Plank. We're new our plank. Five seconds. Go. Halfway there. Come on. Ten seconds. Rest. Rest. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is awful. Um, exercising is awesome. It's wonderful. It is. Don't forget to like this. If you guys can figure out how to thumbs it up, we have zero. I'm going to see. Don't forget, if you guys are just watching, do that. I think it helps. Lunge curl, go. I don't remember how we figured it out, but at the end of the last one, we figured it out. I'll try to remember. Come on, you guys. Whoo, man. Halfway there. Ten seconds. Come on. Rest. Rest. Bring one to that plank. Yes, we got three thumbs up. Did you have to go out of it, April? I can't remember. Did you have to go out of it? Okay, guys, this is brutal. Uh, plank. Go. Quads are on fire like no other. Come on. Tight. Stay tight. Halfway there. Big deep breaths. Come on, you guys. Big inhale. 10 seconds. Big exhale. These static movements are the time to catch our breath. Rest. 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 Okay, you guys, we're going to go into the squat L raise. This one's hard. This one's very hard. You guys, we have seven thumbs up. You guys are awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but static rest, those static movements, try to get your breathing under, under control. Go. Squat. I'll raise. Oh, man. Come on. Halfway there. Oh, Lord. Ten seconds. Oh. Rest. Rest. Plank. Plank, you guys. We're gonna plank. Um. Remember, plank. 
Static. Let's try to control the breathing. Two, go! Halfway there. Come on. Ten seconds. Rest. 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 We're back to the top, you guys. It's only one more full round. Um, does anybody else's quads feel like they're <laughs> on fire? We're up to eight likes. Thank you so much, you guys, for the thumbs ups. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lunge curl. Come on. Come on. Halfway there. Come on, keep going. Ten seconds. Rest, plank. We're back to that plank. Back to the plank, you guys. Um, so for the plank, stay tight. Ten seconds. Oh gosh. Rest. Rest. Oh, um, squat, L raises. Squat, L raises. If you guys did Tuesdays workout, you guys are hating me from your quads right now. Um. Go. Halfway there. Ten seconds. <laughs> I'm sighing. Oh gosh. Rest. Rest. Okay, you guys, plank. We're back to plank. Plank. Way there. Come on. Ten seconds. Well done. Okay. Good job. 
Good job, you guys. Um, that was awesome. So, lift weights five days a week. A long time ago, when I was in high school. So, guys, nowadays I go for a lot of walks. Oh yeah, walks are great. Walks are great. I really encourage um, our team to really just change it up. You know, there's no one size fits all. If walking fits your, um, if walk, walking fits your lifestyle. And you want to increase intensity on your walks, guess what you guys do? Weight vest, you use some ankle weights, you go walk hills, you you change it up like that. You don't have to do anything different. You don't have to go longer, none of that. You just add intensity by increasing the incline of your walk. If you're on a treadmill and you're walking flat, go up to like four or five or six or seven. I promise it adds intensity to any workout we do. So good job, you guys. We did it. We're done. We're done. We are done. Thanks for the likes up or the thumbs up. We have 11. If you guys thumbs us up, I seriously appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Um, I think you have to go out of the chat to do it. I'm going to learn what it does. I forgot to ask my kids, but I know it's good for something. It's got to be. Because I heard all those little... All those little YouTubers, peanut boppers or whatever, they're like, like, or they say, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It's still in the oven. Zach. Oh, uh, what in the world? I thought this was nice work. Nice work, Lisa. I think it's done. It's not. Jeez. It takes way longer to cook than I ever expected. Ever. Um. One in, one out. Let's test it. Testing recipes is not easy. I'm dying too, Constance. That was good. Especially baking. Cooking, you can change it up a lot. If you guys are in my meal prep, did you get it? Did you get it? No. No? If you guys are in my meal prep, you guys have learned. If you guys have macro coaching with me. Um, you guys know cooking, you can be very flexible cooking. There's not as many rules fit in, into your macros and stuff, fit it into your numbers with baking. There's a lot more rules baking. It's more of a science than cooking. Um, it's a lot more of a science when you're using, when you're trying to get like a rise or get a certain effect out of something and you're baking so much more of a science. So that's the tough part. I'm like a rule breaker. Um, Thank you so much. Thank you. You see the breadstone in there? I did. I pulled one out. That's kind of like I was about to pull one out just to see. I'm it. really confused how it bakes so long. It's been in there almost a whole hour. I would let it rest for just a little bit. Did you let it rest last time? I didn't realize it needed a rest. Well, when you're cooking with sourdough, you're supposed to let it rest. Are you tired, Brad? Are you, you tired? Rest? We need to get one of those. Valerie said, What's up, Zach? What's up, Earl? What's up, Valerie? He's Where right here. Hey. Terry, your Mac is low. Your battery. I had low. it on the charger okay. that whole time. Well, it says it will I sleep have to soon. Blame it on you or out. blame it on Wyatt. Um, what's up, everybody? Oh, what's up? I see April. What's up, April? I saw Ryan's pictures yesterday. Oh, he saw Ryan's pictures. Ryan looks good. He goes, that was mm. just one challenge. Mm. <laughs> mm. Ryan looked good, man. He killed. He killed it. He's like, that was just one challenge. He's like, is that the Ryan I met? I'm like, that's the Ryan you met. I hadn't seen it. I was, I was like, wait he's a second. Like, Ooh, what? This is delicious. Are you playing? <laughs> She's not playing. It was for real. It was for real. Zach really had that reaction. It was <laughs> Young real. April. That was a reenactment. Tasha, moment. are you talking about Ryan? You guys talking about her bread? <laughs> Valerie. <laughs> that's so funny. That's funny. April's like, that is funny. You guys are so silly. <laughs> So you're dying to cut into that, aren't you? I just want to know. Just good. cut into it. Just okay. cut into it. Just do it. Let's just break all Let's the see rules. The bottom. Yeah. 
you can't do that. You're flying. No, I'll back up. <laughs> you can have a piece. Have a sandwich. Have a sourdough sandwich. With a prairie dog on the side. Um, I know. April, we do too. We do too. There's no rules around here with this when to cut into it. One day I pulled out, it was, I don't know what loaf it was. It was, I think it was cinnamon and Colt. It literally wasn't out of the oven for five seconds and Colton wanted a piece. I'm like, whatever. I don't care. Should I let it chill? Uh, no, just cut into it. All right. You said it. Yeah. What kind of sandwich are you making? Trying to get the bread out of the oven. Oh, <laughs> Michael said, hi, Zach. What's up, Michael? He was the one, he was on our live in Montana. He asked about you earlier. He, oh. he like, he connected with you on the live in Montana. No kidding. Remember when you came over and you talked about something? Like, I think you had a serious talk, but maybe you didn't have a serious talk. I was there. Oh, yeah. Remember we had all the 12-year-olds? And that one guy kept talking about, like... Oh, you were chilling on the I stairs don't... talking to 12-year-olds. I wasn't on the stairs. Hang on, guys. Let us sort this out before it sounds weird. <laughs> no, we were in the kitchen in Montana, and we were talking. There was a bunch of 12-year-olds and 9-year-olds, but that one weird... There on was your... One... YouTube. Live YouTube. Right. Not in our house, guys. Not in our no, house. No, this was not in our house. This we was actually in our house with a bunch of 12 year olds and nine year olds. That's what confused me too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I don't remember what we were talking about, but remember that one guy you were like, he's like taking over the whole conversation. The weirdo. And I don't remember what he was saying. You were like, he's like. This guy? No, not this guy. That <laughs> I was would like, be that's weird. a weird thing to say right now. <laughs> no, not this one. Okay. It was that yeah, live though. I know what you're talking about. It's actually been Yeah, on. the one dude was uh, kept asking weird questions on the. The then chat. why were you looking at me like I was like you didn't know what I was talking about? Because well, at first I thought you were talking about when we were hanging out with a bunch of twelve and nine year olds. No, and I did not recall that. But What's up, I'm, Marriott? But now I'm with you. Okay, that's where you met this guy. Okay, now What's you up? get it. What's up, dude? We could have just said like, "What's up, man? How you been?" But she had to go make it like a long story. That's because you would have acted like you didn't know him and you knew him. I don't hang out with 12 year olds, guys. Just my own. Just <laughs> like an 11, 11 like, year old, a 10 year old. The one girl was a soap maker. That's right. She wanted to know how to boost her soap sales. Sponsorship for her and her dad's soap company. Mm -hmm. And I was like, dude, just go sit out front and sell some soap. We declined that offer. No, we. We did, right? Or did we? No, we did. I mean, oh. we didn't decline it. I helped her, but I. Okay, didn't, well, like, that's good. Sponsor her soap company. When you're nine, you just sit out front and you sell soap. You just try harder. You don't need a sponsor to start a business. Venture capitalist. <laughs> right? What did we do when we started this business? Do you remember one of the first things I did? I called my mom and actually had her buy something. You Googled how to make a story. <laughs> I did Google how to make a story. I literally Googled you guys how to make an Instagram story. When I started with First Form, I kid you not, I didn't have a logo. I didn't have a business card. I didn't have anything that was actually business-like. I didn't know how to run a business. I Googled yeah. how to... What? Do you know how to make that logo? Our logo? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember. I said the other guy formatted. What? I'm just mumbling. Oh, okay. Um, but I... You were there. You didn't know what to do. Our house was a disaster. There was shit everywhere, guys. Yep. And then Tara said, I'm going to start a business. But that I Googled requires us to be clean and story. professional. And I tried to hide our clothes. I tried spent, to hide our mess. She spent like, two or three weeks trying to make it look like we were adults. <laughs> and then she gave up. And, and which was good because we didn't have any ceilings. And I was and like, then I, I ain't cleaning up the ceilings yet for you to take a video. I didn't even know what to do, you guys. He needs to show up more often. Thank you. Who knew all you needed was no ceiling? When people ask for business advice, I'm going to say just remove your ceiling. Yeah, remove your ceilings. People will be like, why are you in this? It just generates a lot of engagement. <laughs> we legit. And then I remember I made a thing. I think it looks good. Yep. And I said, how? I said, why we don't actually have a ceiling? And I, it was a video of us pushing coke from the swing. I said, because you can hang the swing up there from like yeah. the rafters or whatever. And people are like, wait, you removed your ceiling so you can hang the swing? I'm like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And people believe it. Anything you get, anything you get two year old. No ceiling and fake plants. I actually didn't realize how many fake plants we had. We went there, we had a lot of fake plants. Like a lot. How would you not realize? That I didn't fake? know. Every so this store, is like regular. I'm now making regular bread, you guys. Every store Tara goes into that has fake plants, she buys one. Like we're making 
This one I didn't roll tight enough. It has too much of a, too much. You shouldn't have that much. Because can you imagine eating a sandwich? You could lose a whole piece of cheese. Right can you there. imagine being married to someone who buys a plastic plant every time they see it? I love plastic plants. Tell them about my plastic plant I got the other day from Costco. That's the reason we bought this house. It had a lot of plastic plants in it. No, it, it had all real plants. Well, yeah. This house had all it's real got plants. got plastic now. It has plastic ones now. I love my plastic plants. No convincing me otherwise. They really actually make me happy. No ceiling and fake. And Roblox was on the live stream. Roblox. Oh, yeah, all the kids were talking about my kid. Yeah, they all wanted Wyatt's account, Roblox account. I think it's funny. Is Melissa on here? Segura? Um, it was so funny. She wrote on my Instagram story. So on my Instagram story, you can see Wyatt, like, doing his, like, little, like, uh, nunchuck thing. Like, you know, those, like, I don't know what the thing is called, but it's like a video game console with nunchucks, and you, like, you do actions with it. And last time, Melissa said, hey, what game is he playing? Melissa must play these games with little kids. I didn't, I'm, this is all something new to me that she does. It's her hobby. But she texted me, you guys. It is the funniest message. And she's like, it's called Gorilla Tag that Wyatt plays. And so she was like, so I tried to play Gorilla Tag. She's like, but it was all little kids, like, hustling each other. She's like, and I felt like a Gorilla Tag. No, she said she felt like a, a Gorilla Tag predator. <laughs> She's like, I was the only adult playing against all these son these kids. She's like, and I felt like a gorilla, a predator. I'm like, oh my gosh. So she got out of the gorilla tag. I've never even heard of gorilla tag. Never heard of it. But Wyatt loves it. He loves it. That's literally why my computer's dead. Because he took my charger to charge his nunchucks. He loves that game. Mean kids on there. That's what a lot of people said. There's some mean kids. He only plays with his like friend from school. He has a friend from school. And they sit on FaceTime. I kid you not. They sit on the phone on FaceTime. And then they do their nunchucks. And they talk through nunchucks too. They have like two systems that they talk on. Him and his buddy from school. True story. Mean kids everywhere. And some cats are mean. We have a really mean cat. Two weeks ago and it was a gorilla tag party. Wait, how do you do a gorilla tag party? Does that mean you don't even have to invite your friends? It's just on that nunchuck, it's like, like you just meet them in the game? Or you actually meet them? So that's the birthday we'll have for Wyatt. Hey, invite your friends on virtual reality. It's more... Okay, post-workout time. So Zach just made a sandwich, you guys, with my homemade bread. Are your clothes still hanging outside? <laughs> He's over there looking for groundhogs. He is he is a hero to our, like, we have been very, like, groundhogs have been trying to attack us in our house. So he's protecting us. He said he will defend this farm. He's never felt like such a hero in his life. He's defending us in this house from these groundhogs. I've had better days. He said he's had better tastes. Um, this looks so good. It is good. You haven't had it yet. How do you know it's good? Oh, okay. Here, talk to them for a second. I need to go. I need to go get my charger that I took downstairs. Okay. What's up, y'all? No, she ain't hanging clothes. She's full of crap. <laughs> They're all piled up at the bottom of the dryer, in front on the floor in front of the dryer. That's where their clothes are. Um, is Gorilla Tag a Roblox game? I guess I don't know. I missed that whole thing. You missed what? Gorilla Tag. It's a video game. It's why it's like VR, like VR headset nunchuck game. He has. It sounds like the answer. Yes. What about it? It's a video game. Oh yeah, it's a video game. Yeah, I was. Do you said talk to people, and I was reading. Michael asked, "Is Gorilla Tag a Roblox game?" And I was like, "Yeah." Oh. I think it is. Oh, I don't know about Roblox. Now you have me confused. I think Roblox is different. Oh. 
I think Roblox is a whole game of its own. Well, dude, the way you asked the question confused me. Is it, is, it, is Gorilla Tag a Roblox game video game? You use a game twice, and that's what threw me off. You use the word game twice. It's not my fault. We actually don't know, Michael. That's a good question. It's a game in the internet. It's on the web, on the World Wide Web. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's on the VR. I don't think Roblox is on VR. On VCR. No, no, VCR. VCR. <laughs> We actually don't know if it's on VR or Roblox, but we it's on Roblox or We've VR. never found the gorilla. <laughs> he typed I, out laugh out loud. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> I like when I got it. I type it, I type it out too. You don't type out laugh still, out loud. No, I don't type I don't use it. But I like to type out my Okay, here's a true story. Cool. When Zach and I first met, Colons and Prince I didn't know if you face. liked me because you would never give me an LOL or a smiley face or like a ha ha or Fine. anything. Hard to get. And I'm like, why is this guy not like writing that? He said that men don't do that. And I'm like, no, men do that. Not this rugged old <laughs> man. He would not give me like anything like, okay, I'll meet you at dinner at six. I'm like, is there a happy face or something? No, I have no emotions. It sucked. That's why uh, yeah. I use ha ha ha. No, you, you wouldn't give me a ha ha ha. Well, you then. weren't, must not have been very funny. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't give me anything. I use the, I use the dap and American flags and explosions. Those are my emojis. Those are the emojis I use. I didn't want that. If I give you a, a dap emoji, an explosion, and an American flag, I didn't want to be a dap. So you know, I, I wanted like an LOL. I wanted to know I was funny and I couldn't get it. Whoa. Something like that's what I thought. Oh, April, we're on the same page. April, we're on the same page because that's what I was thinking, but then I wasn't confident of it. I wanted an LOL. I did. I literally did. Did you announce the winner of the, the win winner last not. night? No, no, because our kids ended up not going to youth group. Those heathens wanted to stay home and make sushi, and making sushi is like a chore. Because they sit and look at us till their next roll comes. They sit there and stare. Yeah. So we didn't announce winner for this men's goth sale trip. Should we do that? I don't know. Can I get my sandwich? Get your sandwich. Okay. Can you get that other rope out? Holy. Oh. Moly. It's their fault. You want me to yell at them? Guys? <laughs> Damn it. We forgot to take the bread out of the oven. Stop distracting us. Oh. This bread's ruined. I swear she's never doing a live workout again. <laughs> You're so stupid. What sounds like fun making sushi? Oh, we love making sushi. We do. We I actually feel like last... I do all the work. Uh, no, you don't. Last, well, last, night, night, you I... did. last night you did. Oh, thank you. But before that, I'm telling you, I just sit there and roll with a bunch of bird chirping mouths. <laughs> well we didn't know okay so i'm not that good at rolling it he's really good at rolling it so i had to like figure out where my place was so i was the i'm the line worker i am the prep worker and he is the roller i've been trying to get you to figure out where your place is for 12 years <laughs> <laughs> you've been waiting for that line haven't you no just, you literally could wait you just speed it up <laughs> Um, he couldn't wait to say that line. Would you like a sandwich? He's going to go eat a sandwich. I think those things, that looks like it'd make a good grilled cheese. I don't want to be rude. I don't want to be rude. You're going to say bye to our friends? Goodbye, friends. Oh, you're wearing your brand new shirts. I uh, got it. It's brand new. Smell it. It's brand new. No, it's not. I washed it. You're right. I was gonna say I saw it in the wash. It's still new. It's still kind of new, but new. it smells it's not like brand new. It smells the like other stuff smells like a wash. Not that, that, that guys. Not that my shirts normally smell like shit or anything. Some smell like pee. That's what happens when I was a cat lady. <laughs> I know. He goes. I went into our closet and I was like, Zach, I think it smells like pee in our closet. 
So we think we're just going to put all the cats outside. Remember that idea we had like a year ago? I think we're going to do that idea. Then there is Ryan who sends heart emojis, kiss emojis, heart eye emojis, and etc. <laughs> April. But does he text? Does he write LOL? Zach has never done. That's one that Zach doesn't like to do. LOL. Nah, men don't write that. Nah. He does. No, you don't. April and the loud effect when sending. That's so funny. Just wanted to let you know that my doctor called me yesterday. I drew me to a heart. Beats out. Camera. I need to. <sighs> my doctor called me yesterday. And I have. I need to look into that. You have to be on our next Zoom so we can talk and catch up. And I do understand that some people don't want to talk about all that stuff on a Zoom. So I get that. But. Um, I will be praying for you. Day, Zach. Michael said, have a very good day, Zach, my friend. What? Michael said, have a very good day, Zach, my friend. Oh, you too, man. I'll see you out he, oh, he said, you too, my man. I'll see you out there. Jason just thumbs up me, and that definitely means he doesn't like me. <laughs> Megan? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Zach had no riz when we were dating. No riz. Our kids, <laughs> we caught them Googling how to have Riz. <laughs> I, I feel like he's learning stuff from Colton. <laughs> I said you had no Riz when we were dating. I know you got me, but I didn't, I didn't have like high standards. I just, what? <laughs> he said my Riz was so good. You didn't even know I was fit in my game. Uh, I feel like you're picking up Riz from Colton. He could start an academy on Riz. We're gonna see, we're gonna see how this Riz is. We're gonna see who has better Riz. You are our eleven year old. We're gonna see. I think it's gonna be a close one, you guys. <laughs> I didn't have high standards. I don't know. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, I had really high standards. <laughs> I had really high standards, right, babe? I didn't really have standards. That's why we ended up together. <laughs> all I want to do is eat the sourdough. That's it. That's all I want to do. I need to get one of those things that... So, yeah, I need to perfect this whole loaf thing, but I'm going to. Cope swears, you guys, that he doesn't like so cope and colton and white they all like cinnamon sugar toast they love it cinnamon where you put butter and cinnamon sugar on toast so we tried to do it on sourdough and cope had a fit cope's like nope i just want it on my toast on his like regular bread so that's why we're making i was like you know what i'm gonna outsmart this kid i'm gonna make bread like why would i buy bread when we're making bread like that's stupid um so i literally and making this just to see if I can get one pass to cope. Okay, so I am Constance. <laughs> I am. I am. Every time I go to my therapist or my doctor, they weigh you. And it's so funny because, like, I was there this morning. Yep, I am gaining. I have gained a few pounds since doing sourdough. What? Oh, you texted me some riz? 
phone's downstairs. I need to go get it so I can see what this frizz is all about. Um, so I have gained a few pounds. It's really hard. It's probably one of the first things that we've made in a long time that I have like no control with. I, I usually am really good around like tracking macros and eating within my macros and like hitting my protein. You guys with this sourdough bread, I can eat nothing but bread the whole day. And I'm not even kidding. I can eat nothing but bread the whole day. And I'll get to the end of the day and I'll be like, I had like, yeah, I still have my protein coffees. I still have my post-workout. I still have all that, but I have a lot of bread. I eat bread and protein. That's pretty much it. Let's see what Riz he's spitting out. <laughs> What's the fat face for? What's the face for? <laughs> yeah, why does it look like that? Like, <laughs> no, you didn't even use it right. Yeah, I did. Whole loaf. You didn't. It's, it's how crude Can I show is. our friends? It's up to you. It's pretty crude. I don't, I don't think it's that crude. I think you used the emoji wrong. <laughs> you guys, this is what Riz, my husband, just spit me. This is it. Oh, wait. what? Did they... <laughs> I was like, what did we say above that? <laughs> I said, there's some fizz for you. I didn't. Oh, I see what you said. It meant to say Riz. <laughs> um. Okay. This is what he texted. This is his Riz. <laughs> what? I didn't know you were going to show people. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I didn't know you were going to show people. Look at him over there. <laughs> well, weird, guys. <laughs> I feel like that emoji wasn't the one he was supposed to use. I feel like that emoji looks like, like, it's... this is what he thinks the emoji well, means. I, I can just tell them. <laughs> I don't know if there's kids on that. And there's stuff. no kids. There's like 20 people, though, man. One of them knows me and my kids, and one of them's a principal. <laughs> the principal's principaling right now, our kids. I don't know. What if one of them works at the credit score department? <laughs> Your credit score is going to go down because yeah. you made that face? If I explain. Explain it. <laughs> you guys, do you guys think he used the face right? I don't think he did. There's your face. That's what. The eggplant is a penis. <laughs> I know what the eggplant is. And it's ejaculated on your face. <laughs> <gasps> that's, I mean, I told you you didn't want me to tell them. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm, good thing I'm going to edit this after. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I didn't mean to put him on the spot. Put him on the spot. You're going to get burned every time. It's not a good idea. And right now, Tara, you just like got your head hanging out over a gun. Oh shoot! It's not loaded, but treat every weapon as if it were loaded. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. I thought that face meant like I don't know. <laughs> now? That's why you're like. I mean, I kind of get it. <laughs> That's why you're like. Ugh. You're so stupid. <laughs> so aggressively sexual. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yep. So that's where our kids get I'm their Riz game from. Your mom's not on here. You're good. Yeah. Poor Colton. He has to Google how to get his Riz. He can come right to the master if he needs, man. He can come right to the master. <laughs> <coughs> that's so funny, you guys. Oh. Okay. Our baby. Oh, my little baby bump. Okay, you guys. My sister's Amanda's baby is in the like 92nd percentile or 94th for weight and like 82nd for height. Not ours. Ours were always in the zero. Yeah. <laughs> We always thought family. we had such good genetics. We were like, no, we, we have do. such good genetics. I do. <laughs> no. I mean, mine are perfect. Yours. I feel like mine are perfect. You have the little people in your family. 
you're smaller than me. No, but I'm a woman. Well, you got little people. <laughs> if we look at your percentiles and my percentiles. Whatever. <coughs> your family. Um, we're gonna see. We're gonna find out Thursday. What are we find out Thursday? That's our hospital trip. Oh yeah. That's a little guy. You guys wanna see our scheduling system? Like a week from today. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's what I'm Okay, I'll take Wyatt to the hospital. Yeah. That way. Wyatt's next appointment. It's like, uh, so our kids are very small. When I say that, I like they're very small. Well, Colton's average. He's like 50th percentile. Cope's 50th. Wyatt, he's like zero. Um, but, but we go, he'll get admitted. They're going to do some stem tests on Thursday to figure out why, like what, why his pituitary gland is not giving enough um, growth hormone. Okay, but look at our new scheduling set center for our family. Is this not awesome? So, like, you have to-dos down here. So, so when our kids wake up, they know they all have a routine. And so they hit it. They all are done. Or Colton didn't hit it today. So, dang it, I just hit it for him. Okay. But it tells them step-by-step, step, like, what they have to do. Because our kids don't really, oh, I can undo it. Okay, I'll undo it. So he has to do it. But it has all of our sports and all of our doctor's appointments. But you guys, this is like our night of sports. This is like a weekend. This is like a, it's crazy. Where did I get it? Online. So it's called a hearth. It's called a hearth calendar. Um, we named ours Woody. Ours is named Woody. But it's online. It was it was the one that I ordered back in October and I just got it. So it was, it's been on back order for, so if you order it now, you might not get it till like the end of the year. So get it for him for like Christmas. Yeah. I emailed them a few months ago. I was like, I ordered this a really long time ago. And they're like, yeah, you're in the April batch. So it's like they sell a ton and then they are making them. I think they're hand making them, but they're really cool. I did a lot of research on them and it's kind of like the skylight. The skylight's going to be smaller. It's kind of a little bit different features, but I liked the hearth better. It had a few things that I liked a little better um, than the skylight, but it's it's really similar to the skylight. What, babe? <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs> you guys, this is what Zach sent me. <laughs> I'm showing them. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. I know where to find you. Um Okay, you make some phone calls. I am going to maybe I'll make our I'll make our um, wheel spinner and we'll go ahead and do that whole fun thing. We'll start getting the Scottsdale trip filled up. So we have twenty three spots. I will be there though. So we have twenty two spots. Um, we have a couple mentors coming. We have, and that's it. It's gonna be really freaking fun. So. We are going to start filling up some spots in this house. It's going to be really fun, really adventurous. Not really adventurous. It's always adventurous when you fl you're flying someone and you have no idea who you're meeting. That's where the adventure comes in. Does he think you're hungry? He must. I don't know. I can't eat. He doesn't realize I can't eat for like 30 minutes. So he needs to take the hot dogs and throw them at someone else because I have like 30 minutes after post-workout. So y'all have a very nice house. Oh, thank you, Michael. Why are you looking at me like that? Why? What happened? You'll give nice houses away in Ohio. 
<laughs> he said they give nice houses away in Ohio. Move to Ohio, and guess what? You two could have a nice house. Um, you guys, this was my outfit yes, last year to Summer Smash. I wore this swimsuit. I did. True story. Uh, and so he asked me, the guy that tagged me in it, He's like, are you wearing the same thing this year? And I said, nope, I'm going to dig in my drawer and find what I have. I can't, I feel like I can't wear the same thing. And I, I think he's really concerned about what I keep in my drawer. He's like, wait, you literally put this stuff in your drawer. It's fun though. The tickets go on sale today, you guys, for Summer Smash. And it's going to be a pretty dang good time. <laughs> Want him. <laughs> That's so funny. Nope. Okay, you guys. Um, okay, I'm going to let you guys go. I am going to get our Google Doc ready for Scottsdale. You guys will probably see me live over on Facebook doing that. But we could do a live on here. I don't know. I like doing lives everywhere. So you guys might see me other places too. If you win a spot, you'll obviously get an email. You don't have to be on the live. So I'm going to end this. I'm going to crop this out so we don't get, so our principal doesn't watch this or anybody. So bye. Bye, bye, bye.